Integers on a Cartesian Plane Integers is just another name for whole numbers that can be either positive or negative. No fractions and no decimals. A coordinate plane or a coordinate grid is a space where two number lines intersect. A coordinate plane has two axes, the y-axis, which is the vertical axis, and the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis. The point where these two lines meet is called the point of origin and has the coordinates of 0, 0, 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. Ordered pairs are the coordinates we give to show the location on the coordinate plane or grid. The x-axis is always written first in ordered pairs, followed by a comma, and then the y-axis coordinate. Let's take a closer look at this. Remembering our x-axis, or x number line, is always first. It's in alphabetical order. x comes before y. Here are our coordinates, 5, 4. The 5 is our x-axis, and we need to find that first on our number line. The y-axis is number 4, so we find 5 on our x-axis and we find 4 on our y-axis. Now the point where these two meet is where we put our dot. So we've used ordered pairs to find a location on this coordinate grid or coordinate plane. Let's have a look at another one. Remembering x is always first. x then y. We have 3, 7, so we need to find 3 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis. Let's locate that. There's the 3 and there's the 7. So the point where these two meet is where we put our dot or our coordinate. Let's have a little bit more practice finding ordered pairs. We've got 4, 5. So 4 is our x-axis and 5 is our y. The point where these two meet is where we're going to put our dot. That's our location. Let's try another one. 2, 2. So we'll find our blue dot. So 2 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis. The point where these two meet is our location, and we put our mark there. 6, 4. So 6 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis. The point where they meet is where we put our location. Last one, 1 and 7. So 1 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis. The point where they meet, we put our location. And that's how we find ordered pairs on a coordinate plane or a coordinate grid. The coordinate grid we've been looking at only deals with positive numbers. But we know that in a number line there's also negative numbers. So we're going to extend our number line beyond our zero to include our negative numbers. Now we have a Cartesian plane. A Cartesian plane has two axes. It's two number lines that intersect, that go into our negative numbers. Our horizontal line is our x-axis and our vertical line is our y-axis. Remembering our x-axis always goes first. The place where these two lines intersect is called the point of origin and it's given by the coordinates 0, 0. 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. There are four quadrants in our Cartesian plane, which is four regions. Quadrant 1, which we've been dealing with and it goes around anti-clockwise until we get to quadrant four. The four quadrants of our Cartesian plane deal with different numbers. Quadrant one deals with positive numbers on our x-axis and positive on our y. Quadrant two deals with negative on the x-axis and positive on the y. Quadrant three deals with only negative numbers and quadrant four deals with positive numbers on our x-axis and negative numbers on our y-axis. Let's have a look at plotting some coordinate integers onto our Cartesian plane. The first number is our x-axis and the second number is our y-axis. So we need to find the seven on the x-axis and then the four on the y-axis. The point where these two numbers meet is where we put our dot and that is our coordinate. Let's use another set of ordered pairs. This time we have negative numbers. We have to find minus 7 on the x-axis and minus 4 on the y-axis. So first let's find our x-axis, minus 7. Now we find our y-axis, minus 4. The point where these two numbers meet is where we put our dot. Let's do another one together. We have minus 4 and 8, so we need to find minus 4 on our x-axis and 8 on our y-axis. The point where these two numbers meet is where we're going to put our dot. Let's try one more together. We have 6 and minus 9. We need to find 6 on our x-axis, which is our horizontal axis, and minus 9 on our y-axis. 
The point where these two numbers meet is where we're going to put our dot. Let's try working in reverse now. We have our dots already marked on our Cartesian plane, but we need to figure out what the ordered pairs for those dots are. Remember that we figure out the x-axis first in our ordered pairs and then the y-axis. So we're going to start with the red dot first. We have a look at where the red dot is sitting along the x-axis or the x number line. You can see it's sitting on number 5. And if we have a look at where it's sitting on the y number line, it's at number 3. So our ordered pairs, starting with x, would be 5 and 3. Let's now have a look at the blue dot and see where that's sitting. So we have a look on the x-axis, which is minus 10 or negative 10, and on the y-axis it is negative 3. So our ordered pairs would be negative 10 and negative 3. Our green dot now, having a look at where that's sitting on our x-axis, is at 6. And on our y-axis, it would be negative 9. So our ordered pairs would be 6 and negative 9. Remembering our x-axis always goes first. Let's look at our orange and last dot now. Along the x-axis, it's sitting at negative 6. And on the y-axis, it's sitting at 8. So our ordered pair would be negative 6 and 8. That's how to figure out how to write ordered pairs when we already have the locations marked on the Cartesian plane.